Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. It's three minutes past eight. Fresh. Oh, I just realised my arm's in the way. There we go. You can see the time now, can't you? Uh, evening, everybody. Welcome to Apex 66's Big Live Draw 68, I think it is. It was 67 the other day, so I can count. Add one. No dramas. 68, mate. 66 was last week. Well, get changing that description, Dino. <laughs> does it say 66, does it? Yeah. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's proof that we're not perfect. <laughs> it is Big Live Draw 68 from Apex 66 HQ. We are going to find another 11 winners tonight. Um, but before we do that, we thought we might show you what we're drawing on Thursday. Uh, we'll start with that, I think, because that's the next Big Live Draw. That'll be 69, Dino. 69. <laughs> right. Let's have a quick look at the prizes ending on Thursday. Um, we have the big black edition, the F Tools 429 piece chest. Currently 53 tickets sold out at 299. Ladies and gentlemen, in two days to go, they do usually sell out. Oh, we need to change that. <laughs> I know what Dean's doing uh, right now. He's changing some stuff. Um, and then. We have the Shoebuth E1 Adventure Helmet. This is quite nice. Uh, £4 a ticket. Currently sold 10% of tickets, ladies and gents. Not very many. So get involved. Um, absolutely bang. I just realised we've got no music. Let's put some of that on, shall we? Here we go. There we go. You can all hear something. Right. Uh, that's got two days left. And 25 tickets sold out at 225. Then we have the Garmin Zumu XP XT. GPS smart nav uh, 35 tickets sold out of 199 usually does go quite well and we do usually sell out so don't leave that till Thursday then we have an Alpine Stars Andy's V3 dry star full kit package that's the jacket the trousers the gloves and the boots currently 52 tickets sold out of 299 be quick then we have something that uh, is not that fast back to sell out uh, 10 tickets out of 149 sold. The Alpine Stars Fastback 2 Dry Star Waterproof Boots. Choice of colours. Very nice summer boot that is waterproof if you get caught out, ladies and gentlemen. So get in on them. £2.50 a go. Uh, then we have loads more. We have the Ultimate Lego, uh, Lego Technic, the BMW M1000RR. Uh, £2.50 a go, currently 41 sold out of 199 Then we have a Double Biker Tidy, uh, £2.50 a go, 19 tickets sold out of... Oh, one two two. That was weird. <laughs> it just says one two two there. I think that's supposed to be one two five <laughs> on the biker tidy. Check the double biker tidy, please, Dino. Uh, then we have the Acewell heated grips. <laughs> that's weird. I think that's a glitch. Uh, nine tickets sold out at ninety nine. Currently two pound fifty a go. Then we have the DXR Hinkley waterproof leather boots. Second time we've run these. Uh, two pound a ticket. Nineteen out of one four nine. Then we have the SGS uh, Chuck. Last but not least, seven tickets out of 99 currently sold. And then don't forget, we have this absolute weapon. You could win this Triumph Trident 660 with us at Apex. Yeah, check that out. Uh, double biker tidy. Hello, are we back? I've just transitioned. Let's try that again. Enjoy this Trident. You could win this Triumph Trident 660 with us at Apex 66. Follow the link, enter the competition because you could be joining over 450 Apex 66 winners. The live draw will be broadcast from right here at the supplying dealer Pure Triumph Wellingborough. The front end of this bike is nice, sculpted and condensed and clean. It's not too noisy. A lot of bikes in this class are so noisy at the front that it looks like Optimus Prime's two-wheeled baby brother. One thing that separates the Trident from the rest of its class is this wicked futuristic floating rear end and it's got a mudguard that houses the indicators and the number plate. It's got this lovely sculpted seat which is really narrow which means you can get your feet flat on the floor. What an absolute weapon, ladies and gentlemen, that is a beautiful bike and currently has sold just shy of 400 tickets. We draw that in three days, ladies and gents. Thursday. Regardless of final ticket sales, our best odds on a Trident ever. Matter of fact. Right, let's move on and find some winners, shall we? Let's do that. 
So first one we're going to draw is the Oxford uh, Q4R tank bag. Uh, I'll just give you a quick demonstration. For those of you that are new to Apex 66, this is how we draw our prizes. We display them on the screen. We also put up the Google random number generator. We'll pump in the numbers, the ticket number range for this particular draw. We'll spin the wheel. We'll match that to the entry list if the number comes up and is in the entry list, you're the winner. If we have no entry for that particular number, we will simply spin again until we find a winner. That is the Apex 66 promise. So to demonstrate that, I will chuck some numbers in that are outside of this draw. Uh, I'll tell you what, Dino, shout me out a number. He's 2,003 up to, come on, 56,007 he's gone for. That's quite a weird broad range. So you can see that on the screen there. We'd press enter. There we go, 15,623. Match that to the entry list. If that's your number, you are the winner. Naturally, we never do tickets that high, so you don't need to worry about that. We'll reset that back to zero is zero. And then we will get cracking and see what we can find. So this was tickets one to one, two, five. Popping that in now. I think we're going to have a drum roll. We're certainly going to give it a try and see what happens. Good luck, everyone. And that is number 25. What a number 25. I will just have a little look through and see if we have someone. Was it quiet, Dino? We can crank that up a little bit. We're going to go a bit louder for next time. I've moved that volume quite high. So apologies in advance if the next drum roll deafens you. <laughs> right, 25. We do have a winner. Let me highlight in the appropriate colour of Apex 66 pink, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, right, let me bring the entry list up on page. Oxford Tank Bag. Here we go. The winner is Jeff Plant. Well done, Jeff Plan. Woo woo! Either side we have Paul Campbell and Ian Hanlon. Oh, well done, everybody. But well done, Jeff, in particular, who has won said tank bag. Let's reset that back to zero zero, and we'll draw another prize. Next one out is the Sparda. Uh, this is called the Autobahn Jacket. I just have to remember the name of it there. Um, Autobahn Jacket tickets on this one one to one four nine didn't quite sell out. If we don't find a winner first time, we will simply spin again. So tickets one to one four nine in the mix. Good luck, everyone. Drumming roll. And that is number 44. 44. Let's see if we have a winner for that. We do. 44. I didn't have to scroll far. Mind you, these are all low odds, these ones, aren't they? 44. Bringing it up now. Let me just take that away. Put that back. The winner is, with ticket 44, Andrew Phillips. Well done, Andrew. Uh, just above, we had Richard Beardwell, and then we had Ian Williamson just below. Unlucky guys, do not worry. We'll run another one at some point. That is that one. Right, what are we doing next? I think we're drawing another prize. We are doing the richer, slick boots. Slick. Slicker than your average, Dino. Slicker than your average. Pop diggity, he says. You wouldn't have heard that. Anyway, uh, this is Richard Slick Boots. Tickets one to 99 on this particular one. Good luck, everyone. Drumming roll. And it is number 47. Well done, 47. Let's have a little look-see then, shall we? 47 is a ticket that sold. Might have to just move in to get the surname pronunciation correct. Okie dokie. Let me just pull that down a sec. Put that back up. And the winner is, with ticket number 47, on the Reacher Slick Boots, is Gary Macken. I'm going with M-A-C-H-E-N. I look across at Dino. Macken. Gary Macken. M-A-C-H-E-N. That's what I'm going with. He's going Mation. <laughs> He's going Mation. I'm going Macken. Gary Macken. Either side, we had Gary Macken and we had Stephen Smith. Lucky guys. But well done, Gary Macken. Congratulations. les chances. Okie cokey. Right, let's reset that back and that back. So it's ready for next time. Now we're going to have a look at the prizes ending on Monday the 11th, shall we? Let's do a bit of that. Right. 
scrolling down to the Monday 11th prizes, we have some absolute blinders. Here we go, ladies and gents. Here they are. Uh, the Rurok Atlas 4.0, which is uh, comes with a combination, uh, the Bluetooth and the Pinlock. So you get a Bluetooth headset with the helmet, which is class. Uh, currently 62 tickets sold out of 249, which is quite a lot for this time in the day. In fairness, still a week to go on that. Uh, £4 a ticket. Get in quick because it will probably sell out before like most Maru Rocks do. Uh, then we have something that's new to Apex 66. Uh, something to combat the ever-increasing fuel prices. Uh, £500 fuel voucher. Nice and simple. Usable at any fuel station. And also available for home fuel as well. Uh, paid in cash, £500 into your bank account. Only 249 tickets on this. Uh, 57 sold out of 249. Draw regardless of ticket sales. Then we have the GoPro Hero 11. Uh, Hero 11? Did you like that? <laughs> I was just waiting for a reaction. The Hero 10 Black and Accessories Bundle comes with the chesty or the handlebar mount or the helmet, man. You get to choose, which is quite cool. You guys devour it. Already 10% sold. Then we have the Revit Eclipse textile jacket. Choice of male or female on this one. Even if we don't have a female image up there, do not worry. Uh, £2.50 to go. Currently 14 tickets sold out of 125 then we have the RST a reinforced straight leg uh, Aramid jeans. Return of these. You guys love them. Already over 10%, nearly 20% 20, 20 sold. £2 a ticket. Get involved. That rhymed then. Did you see that? Uh, Quadlock. Uh, return of the Quadlock and full mountain kit. You guys devour them, so we just keep doing them as long as you like them. Um, and there's demand for it. 11 tickets sold out of 125. Then we have a Light Lock Moto. Uh, very popular prize. Always does sell out. 39 tickets out of 149. Already gone. Uh, then moving on to the last two prizes. I say last two, three actually, but I'll show you the third in a minute. Uh, the Day and Easy Decor uh, D Dry ba uh, Base Layer. Uh, this is the top and the trousers. £2 to go. Currently four tickets sold out of 125. Drawing regards to ticket sales. Then we have the Rucker AFT Airflow Gloves. Plus this absolute beauty. <laughs> Check it out. We've managed to get you this Kenny Roberts special Yamaha MT-09. It's angular, aggressive, it's got no weight over the front end and with this 900cc triple engine the thing lives on the back wheel and not only that it comes in the Kenny Roberts special livery. The bike's technology matches its futuristic styling. It's got ABS, switchable traction control and three rider modes to choose from depending on what mood you're in. The bike uses the CP3 engine, which is a cross-plane crank triple. It kicks out 115 horsepower, 119 newton meters of torque, and that means when this thing is on tap with the quick shifter, it sounds sensational. In summary, if you want a bike that moves your soul this summer, this is the bike for you. I'm down at Apex 66. If you want to win bikes just like this for less than a tenner, then get over to apex66.co.uk and check out what we've got live. Good luck. What a weapon. Referred to as the King Kenny machine. Could be yours for literally £7.50 on the multi-buy. There you go. Currently, not many tickets sold, I don't believe. Let's have a quick look. I'll tell you. It is sold 412. Drawn regardless of ticket sales next Monday, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, that is a Monday bike. That is our first Monday bike, so um, keep an eye out for that. Uh, was there a comments draw? I keep missing the dang thing. Um, Simon Ellis and someone else, Mick Bunting, asked the same question. I'm just going to answer that now. I would have done that on Friday. So from Thursday's draw last week, we do the Wheel of Fortune draw, don't we? We ask you three questions, goes into the Wheel of Fortune on the Friday. Unfortunately, if you missed this, the comment picker that we use to export all the comments out had fundamentally broken um, with anything containing more than like 50 comments. So we managed to do that mug draw because uh, we managed to get that one through. But this big one, I haven't tried it again today in fairness, but I will have a little look at it tomorrow. And uh, we will do that draw before Thursday this week so we don't lose track of things. Um, but yes, we will be doing the Wheel of Fortune draw. Do not worry. Uh, right, what are we doing next? Drawing more prizes. So next, we are going to draw when I can find them the Halvarsons 
Alvarsens Swedish gloves. Uh, don't come with any flat pack instructions, but they just you just take them out of the bag and they work basically. Unlike IKEA furniture. Right, tickets on this one to ninety nine, and did sell out. I think it was one of the only prizes, if very few prizes, to sell out tonight. So uh, with a bit of luck, we should find a winner first time. Let's see what happens, shall we? Right, without further ado, drum and roll. Good luck, everyone. And the winner is Blind 40. Blind 40. Do you know if you can check in on that drum roll and make sure it's not too extreme? Because I can't hear that. Well, I can hear it, but not as well as these guys. Uh, right, ticket number 40. Let's see what happens. We have a winner. Highlighting now. And it's a female. Good level. Dino's happy with the drum roll, by the way. Confirmed. Right. Let's be upstanding. Go absolutely wild for the winner. It is Christine Taddeo. Well done, Christine. Winner of the Hal Varsons gloves. Cool. Right, what are we doing next? I think we're doing a Revit Quantum. Let's reset that back to zero. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get it on screen. Here we go. This particular one was 1 to 149. 1 to 149 is in the sheet. Right. Live feed is clear. We're looking good. Drumming roll. Good luck, everyone. And it is number 124. Nice. Let's see what happens. One two four, one two four, one two four, one two four, one two four is a winner. One two four. God, we haven't had any respins tonight, Dino. I don't think. I think it's been splat flat out. One two four. We have a winner. Right. Let me pull that up on screen. And the winner is, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for David Rogers. Ticket one two four. Knock on the door. Excellent. Well done, sir. Welcome to the Apex 66 Winners Club. Very nice. Hokey Cokey, what's next? Another price. Smashing straight on. Apparently, this thing gives the best blowjob in town. That's all I've heard. That's all I've heard. It's the Brawl Dual Turbine Dryer. Uh, this one didn't quite sell out, I think, for the first time. Although it is a Monday and you guys haven't quite got used to the Monday thing yet. Uh, tickets 1 to 199 on this particular one. We are in the mix. The live feed is clear. 1 to 199, just checking. Yep, we're good. Right, drum and roll. Good luck, everyone. And it is number 190. Right up the order, Dino. 190. And I am scrolling down still. Here we go. We're there. 190 is a number that is spoken for. 190 highlighting now and bringing it across on your page 190 on the brow dryer is paul roebuck what well on paul either side we had brendan nash and Ro i think it says rochelle yeah rochelle smith rochelle smith and brendan nash either side unlucky guys but well done paul roebuck congratulations everyone give them a big round of applause right what are we doing now resetting that getting ready for next one but before we do that let's show we show you not show we we're going to show you what we've got ending on thursday the 14th i think let's get the website back up here we go right on the 14th we have another adventure helmet this is the nolan n70 uh 2x adventure helmet currently two tickets sold £3.50 a go. Then we have Return of the RST one. This is the retro bundle. Uh, comes with the jeans, the jacket, the boots, and the t-shirt. Choice of different colours and all of that. Uh, four quid a go, 20 tickets sold. Then we have the City Vertigo two boots. You guys devoured these last time, so we thought we'd have another go. Already 12 tickets sold out of 199 Be quick. Then a brand new prize for Apex 66, the OG original backpack. This is a motorcycle backpack. It's not a backpack that does motorcycle stuff it's a motorcycle backpack 
You can't fit a whole motorcycle in there, but you can fit pretty much everything else. It's got helmet clips, carriers, charging cables, pot spots, all sorts of stuff. Have a look through all the photos on the website. It is mental. It's proper. If you're a motorcyclist and you wear a backpack, you need this backpack. Simple as that. Then we have the return of the SGS 8 draw toolbox. Uh, 99 ticket, low odds draw, currently one ticket sold. Then we have a nice retro leather jacket, ladies and gentlemen. If you have loads of textile stuff and you fancy a leather jacket but can't quite go, oh, I don't wear it that often, I'm not going to justify spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Well, I'll try £2.50 and you can win one. Uh, Reach a Cafe Racer leather jacket, quite neutrally styled, goes with every form of bike. Six tickets sold already. Then we have the Merlin Eastern uh, riding hoodie. Uh, choice of colours. This is a riding hoodie with armour, etc. Five tickets sold already. Choice of colours. Then a prize that I'm quite excited about. This is the Climb uh, A1 airbag. Very, very popular bit of kit. Can potentially save your life. It's controlled by the app. It detects a crash. It blows up. It stops you breaking yourself. Have a look through the photos. Read some of the spec on it. It is absolutely mind-blowing. There's a video uh, online. You can check all that out. 10 tickets sold already out of 225. Four quid a burn. Then we have the Daneasy D-Rig uh, Wheeled Stealth Travel Bag. Rumour has it Dean can actually get in this. Uh, we've not tried it, but rumour has it he's quite flexible. Then there's uh, the Alpine Stars tech watch 3h this is quite a popular prize um we haven't been able to get hold of these for about a year pretty much uh so we finally got hold of some and uh you can have a choice of colors on that green the white face or the black face uh seven tickets sold out of one two five so that is that and then we have one of the most in my opinion versatile adventure bikes you can buy probably most versatile motorcycles you can buy today on the planet it is fully loaded have a look at this. Check this bad boy out. We have managed to get you a fully loaded Triumph Tiger 800 XRT top spec. It comes with everything you can imagine and more. Not only do you get this free box expedition luggage system, you also get backlit switch gear, LED and daytime running lights, five rider modes, heated grips, heated rider pillion seat, lighter alternator, adjustable shower suspension, Brembo brakes, and TFT clocks. The good news doesn't stop there. The bike is powered by Triumph's 800cc banging triple engine. It produces 94 brake horsepower and 79 newton meters of torque, which is perfect for two up touring. In summary, this is one of the most versatile motorcycles on the market today. I'm Stuart from Apex 66. If you want to win motorcycles just like this, then head across to apex66.co.uk. Check out the current competitions and you could be joining over 450 Apex 66 winners. Good luck. You guys love a tiger. We love a tiger. Um, yeah, absolutely sensational, sensational bike. Uh, we will do the early bird draw very soon. <laughs> it's Monday, isn't it, already? Uh, I would usually do that today, but me and Dino had to go and film some bikes uh, for y'all, because otherwise you'll have no nothing to spend your money on very soon. So uh, we had to go and do that. So we will do the early bird draw later on this week. Do not worry, we will not miss it. Okay, right, what are we doing now? That's the prize is 14th. Let's draw some more, shall we? Uh, let's do that. Right, we're drawing next. Reading my handwriting, which is terrible, by the way. The data tool, Stealth. Uh, Stealth Tracker S5, including uh, installation and a 12-month free subscription, which is quite a cool bit of uh, kit, isn't it? Did not sell out. Got about halfway, I think, maybe just over. So if we do have to spin a couple of times... Say la vie, um, but we will do our best. Here we go. I think it's one to one nine nine, pumping in. Here we go. Yeah, we're good. Live feed is clear. Drumming roll. Good luck, everyone. Number one nine three. One nine three. Let's have a look. See, and we do have a winner. We do have a winner. And I'm just highlighting now. There we go. Right, let me pull that over there. Put that back over there. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding. And welcome to the stage. Jonathan Ohashi. Jonathan Ohashi, 
ticket 193. Well done, sir. Either side, we had uh, Sean Martin and Michael... My eyes. Wilden. <laughs> I had to, had to peer forwards then, beyond the microphone, because uh, I was going to get that wrong otherwise. Um, but well done, Jonathan Ohashi. We will be in touch and explain the process. Well done, sir. It's quite a cool prize, isn't it? Right, let's reset that back. Get ready. Here we go. Now we're drawing the Senna 50R. Check this out. A new prize for us at Apex 66. Didn't sell out, but I think it did get relatively close. So uh, should find a winner fairly quickly. Tickets on this, 12199. This was only three quid ago because it was just a little single uh, without any camera features and things like that. So slightly cheaper to have a go on this one. Uh, live feed is clear. Drumming roll, good luck, everyone. And it is number five. Five. Right, I don't have to scroll very far. And it's there right at the top. Let's highlight that. The winner is with ticket number five on the Senna 50R. Let me just grab the that one there we want. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for... Andy Anderson. Well done, Andy. Either side, we had Paul Tetley. And then the other side, we had Anthony uh, Buon... Bunano. Bunanio. Bunanio. That's what we're going with. Um, unlucky, guys, but well done. Andy Anderson. Senna 50R en route to you. Crack-a-lacking. Right. Let's reset that back. Uh, what are we doing now? Looking at my list. Bell Star. That's what we're doing. This is a nice helmet, this. Looks like a choice of a couple of colours. You can go for the stealthy uh, white. Or you can go sort of black with a rouge. Uh, this one is one. Dino, can you just have a quick check on something for me? Uh, Bell Star. Uh, I've got one to two to five. It is. Yeah, good. Thank you. Because <laughs> I've written this down. And I can't read my own handwriting. And <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know what that says. Uh, one to two, two, five. There we go. Right. That is in the mix. One to two, two, five. Good luck, everyone. Drumming roll. And it is number 212. 212, 212, 212. Have to scroll for this one. 212. We have a winner. 212. Highlighting now. There we go. Let's pull that back over there. Let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our second female winner of the night. 212 belongs to Georgina Harrison. Well done. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Either side, we had Andrew Phillips and Rochelle Smith, another female. Unlucky. But well done, Georgina. Right. That's that. What are we doing now? Oh, more prizes launched. Someone's been busy. Right, let's do that. Let me get that, 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 and then find the right screen. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? Uh, more prizes launched. Um, we will come back to this one in a second because it is right at the top. And I've got a wicked video to show you. This is the uh, Champions Flat Track School. Uh, it's based over in Cambridgeshire, so pretty central in the country, about 40 minutes from us here. Um, so quite local. Uh, already three tickets sold, three quid a go. It's for two people to go and have an absolute blast of a day out. I'll show you the video in a second. Then we have another 429 piece Nuremberg this time, Nuremberg Chromo XXL uh, tool chest and tools, four quid a go. You know the crack with those. Um, then we have a Kberg helmet. This is a Kberg Ghost. Quite an aggressive looking summer helmet, this one. Choice of different colours and styles. Have a look through the website. Only 199 tickets on this. Four quid a go. Then we have a new Light Lock. Uh, we have the Light Lock Core Moto. A couple of quid a go. A few more tickets on this one because it's a bit more money. But uh, another fantastic product from Light Lock. Then we have Return of the Krieger, this time the R35, slightly bigger than the R20, um, with a few more features and bits and pieces. Have a look through the photos on the website. Something that's perfect for summer. It's pink and washy. It's the Muck Off Pressure Washer. Pink and washy. I did say that. 
It's a mug off pressure washy. <laughs> it's a pressure washy. Uh, two quid to go, 149 tickets. Then we have the Merlin Ruben waterproof leather boots. Choice of colours on these. Uh, the brown or the bleak. Uh, then we've got the Revit GeForce H2O textile boots. These are quite smart and summery. Uh, you can go for the neutral black and white or the black, red and white or the black and fluo green. Check them out. Uh, and then we have the Oxford Hardy Wax textile jacket. Choice of colours on that one. You guys devour it most of the time, so get in there and have a look at that. And then a brand new price to Apex 66. Uh, the YC Scout textile jacket. Choice of different colours. Uh, neutral or something a bit more extreme if you fancy freshening up your wardrobe. Couple of beans for a jacket, eh? Not bad. All of that has been launched right now, and that gets drawn two weeks today. So get involved. Right, back to this epic prize this is a flat track experience check this video out if you're not enthused by this nothing will enthuse you you'll have a whale of a time enjoy it Champions Flat Track School. Uh, welcome to our little track here uh, in Lincolnshire. Our school is really been about this experience of flat track racing. It's a sport that's come over from America. A lot of road racers are beginning to adapt to this sport. It's very good for throttle control, body position, and just general riding. A lot of new skills to be learned on flat track in a, in a safe environment. Marquez, Rossi, there's many guys practicing this sport. We're lucky enough we get uh, some of the star names, Sam Lowsley on Aslan coming down here. And basically, I want to offer this opportunity to the public to, to experience this. The day is really set out. We have basically drills in the morning. We go through body position. It's so important on, on off-road that you have the correct body position. Your arms up high, your, your movement in your upper body. Secondly, we have this steel shoe here. This is, this is a, such an important part. Uh, you can put your foot down on loose dirt. You're always losing the front or the back. You know, both wheels could be sliding at the same time. And if you've got these steel shoes fitted here, that basically holds you up. Your body position is good. You, you know, you will not crash because of that reason. So we go through a drill where we work on, diff on putting your foot down correctly. We do full lock turns with the wheel sliding from the front and, it, and not, not crashing. So we go into the three corner stages. The corner stage is braking coming in, two wheeling going round, and then obviously sliding or accelerating, turning the bike coming out. So we practice the brake, the turn, and the acceleration. The afternoon is certainly a lot different. We go into a lot of riding. Firstly, we do the oval, work hard on all them techniques I've learned in the morning are put into practice and then we go what we call a TT track so that's a left right jump you're still basically flat track because we slide the bike in a lot you know there's no berms or anything it's still a very flat surface the bikes themselves these are 230 cc with the 18 inch flat track tires on lowered down for Pacific for the job the key thing there's no front brake We've got a rear brake, so that works. That's a very important part of the day. And the bikes work perfect for training. They're ideal, and they're, they're not super powerful, but they're, again, they're powerful enough to, to create a really good slide. Firstly, our website will give you the dates We're available for the schools. We provide everything. Uh, you just got to bring yourself and a bit of riding gear. We supply the red steel shoes, the instruction, the bikes, the track, obviously. So the day is designed specifically for novice riders, but also for riders that are um, a little bit more experience we can bring them in as well so now if you've passed your test and you basically can ride a motorcycle you can fit into this day for sure awesome that looks a lot of fun uh i think uh we were discussing it today we're probably going to go and have a go at that aren't we i think i think we will it looks a lot of fun and uh it means i can use dean for grip basically just riding off him um 
if you're not excited by that for three quid that's you and a mate by the way you and a mate so uh it's located uh near cambridge um it's, it's not far from here it's quite central to the midlands um it is for any riding experience as long as you're a competent motorcycle rider you will have a whale of a time that day from novice never ridden off roads so again over so much as a gravel car park i've said it before that is three quid or go you will have an absolute whale of a time five tickets for 15 quid 10 for 30 you cannot go wrong um cool that is that it's on with the last two prizes of the night, ladies and gentlemen, uh, which are, which are, which are, which are, which are. Let me get them up on screen. So we've got the uh, £300 web credit. Thank you to everybody for entering this. Completely free to enter. Uh, this was uh, one, two, one, triple nine. We never really know where to put these because we don't really want to limit it um, because we want to give everyone a fair crack. I think 900 of you-ish got involved. Um, so, uh, yeah, well done to you, 900 great great odds for 300 quid to play and potentially even win a bike from so we will see what happens right numbers are in uh i think without further ado let's drum roll good luck everyone and that is number 1659 1659 i'm gonna have to scroll a bit for this so bear with me scrolling 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 here we go one six. We're into the one sixes. What was it? Five nine. One six five nine. One six five nine. One six five nine. Let me just get close because my eyes. One six five nine. Yes, we have a winner. I just wanted to absolutely check. <laughs> there we go. One six five nine. Right. Let's bring them up on Steam screen. Even. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a massive round of applause for ticket number one six five nine. Belongs to Stephen Whitaker. Well done, Stephen. £300 web credit being applied to your account tomorrow. Well done. Whee. It's a bit quiet here, so I can't hear the massive applause or anything. But well done, Stephen. Cool. That's that. On to the last prize of the night. Love this prize. You guys seem to love it as well. Um, this is the Hydraulic Motorcycle Lift. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to crack on. We'll draw this one, and then we'll leave you all to it. And we'll see you again in the next couple of days when we're out and about, causing mischief, filming stuff, doing things. And uh, we'll be at Pure Triumph of Wellingborough on Thursday. So thank you, everybody, for sticking around. This is the lift. Let's uh, pop the ticket numbers in. So this was, uh, again, my handwriting, 1 to 275. I think I can just about make that out. 275. There we go. Right. In the sheet, without further ado, good luck everyone, drumming roll. And it is number 21. 21, don't have far to scroll. So, I can see a number 19. I can see a number 22. But I cannot see a number 21, ladies and gentlemen. I will just show you. Uh, two seconds. Let me do that. Let me do that. There we go. You can see those two numbers there. 19 sold, 22 sold, but no 21, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll bring that back up. And without further ado, I wonder if I can drum roll again. I'm just going to practice something. Bear with. Yeah, drumming roll. Good luck, everyone. And it is number 253. Right, let's have another scroll. 253, 253, 253, 253, 253 is sold. 253. Let me get close again because the numbers start to blur. Yes, 253. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a massive round of applause for Mr. Mark Grundy. Well done, Mark. Woo, 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 well done, sir. We'll be in touch tomorrow and make arrangements. Um, so there you have it, ladies and gents. It is 20 to 9. It's actually 18 minutes to 9. You can all go off and watch EastEnders Omnibus now or whatever else you do with your Mondays. I don't know if there's anything on. 
potentially even play a little bit of catch up on uh, ITV4 for the MotoGP this weekend. That's just been exceptional race. History was made if you didn't watch it. Watch it so make sure you get back and watch it. Um, we will see you live from Pure Triumph of Wellingborough on uh, Thursday. I had to get my days right then. Uh, we'll be there from about midday uh, lunchtime onwards doing some lives around that wicked Trident. Don't forget, all prizes are drawn regardless of ticket sales. So be there or be square, as they say. We'll see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.